Conan. Well, who's the surprise going to be this oh, week? Oh, I don't know. First, the SATs. Last week, Juventud Guerrera. Who does the K-Dog have up his sleeve this week for I'll tell Jerry you, Lynn? I'll tell you what, he almost won it last week. Juventud Guerrera put on an oh. incredible effort. I thought he should have had the victory, but Jerry Lynn pulled it out somewhere. Yeah, yeah, Where my dog's at? Where they at? Yeah, we'll see about that. You know what? I'm going to let everybody know what's on and popping, what's on and crackulating. I got my boy from Mexico over here. He is the ex welterweight champion of the UWA. He is the ex ECW TV champion. Pesando 98 kilos. Originario de Tulancingo Hidalgo. El es el insane luchador. Super crazy. Super crazy. Yeah. The insane luchador is going to be the representative for Conan this week against Jerry Lynn here on NWA TNA. This guy does it all. I mean, in, in Mexico, in Puerto Rico, wrestled in Japan. You heard Conan say, former ECW TV champion. What a great resume. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, Jerry. Well, Mike, after the juice last week, I'm thinking to myself, how can Conan top this? We, he may have just done it. Super crazy. And then in the ring, and it's Gary Lynn. Better put on one of his best performances or in his luchador. And Mason will take over. You know, we've talked about this in the past, but I think it bears repeating that you have to give Jerry Lynn credit. Setting aside his personal goals, setting aside his personal glory, he was in line for an X Division title shot, but he has decided to dedicating himself to fighting this luchador invasion of Conan. Well, but Mike, he just took it personal when Conan made the references that the X Division was basically copycats of the luchadors and the lucha libre style. Jerry Lynn took that offensively. He felt like the X Division had raised the bar higher than any other form of wrestling before, and that's why he has personally taken this mission on himself. But I'll say one thing about Conan. He is bringing out the heavyweights, buddy. I mean, Hoobie last week, super crazy this week. Unreal, Mike. You heard Conan list the accomplishments of Super Crazy, and they're all accurate. ECW TV champion, as I recall, a couple of years ago in a tournament final, he defeated Rhino to win the ECW TV championship. He's been a hardcore champion in the IWA over in Puerto Rico. Uh, many championship belts that he's held in Mexico. The insane luchador has arrived in NWA TNA. Oh, I'll tell you what, Jerry Lynn at this point I think it's a lot more prepared than he was last week when Hoobie came out and, and almost took it to him. I mean, almost beat him. I thought he had it won. But if you look, Jerry Lynn seemed, I think he knew that Conan was, was going to pull out all the stops. And he came ready to go. And both of these men very familiar with each other. Kind of rivalry that they had in ECW several years ago, and it's renewed right here in NWA TNA. And listen to the crowd. Again, Mike, if you notice, the crowd is almost mixed, like they were last week when the Duke was here. You know why? Because they appreciate good wrestling. Oh, and it is good wrestling, and I, for one, would love to see some way where we can integrate the Luchadors into the X Division, because I believe we ought to see the best of the best every week, and this is a chance that we've been getting each week now, Mike. Right, whether you like this invasion by Conan or not, think of the plus side. Think of the great matches that we have every week because of this invasion by Conan and because of his claims. You know, as far as I'm concerned, Conan proved his point last week. Like I said, I felt that Juventud Guerrero won that match, and Jerry Lynn barely made the comeback to, to fight another day, but I'm going to tell you something. This has been so good for the X Division. Call it what you will, but like you said, Mike, it's just good wrestling. Unbelievable. The offensive momentum clearly on the side of the insane luchador. Super crazy goes for the power bomb. Reversed in mid move by Jerry Lynn. Springs off the rope. Tilt a whirl. Head scissors take over and down goes Super Crazy and he rolls out to the floor. Conan. Yeah, ringside conference at this point between Conan and 
super crazy. I don't know if he needs to get him any more fired up or not, but certainly plotting some sort of strategy. Counter by Lynn, sends him face first into the turnbuckle, springs off the middle rope, it's a drop kick. I'll tell you what, Mike, they have come out fired up. Look at this! Oh, did you see that? Running right off the ring apron, catches super crazy with the Hurricane Rana. I mean, Jerry Lynn has come prepared today. You know, it felt like last week that he was caught off guard. This week, Jerry Lynn knew that Conan was going to be giving him the best. Right, and it's one of those situations where Lynn didn't know who the opponent was, but he certainly knows all about Super Crazy from their many battles in the past. Oh. Fired him off into the corner. Super Crazy was prepared. He was ready. He was able to get the boot up. Caught Lynn coming in and then goes to the corner mount, raining down those right hands. I tell you something, Mike, I love it, and I love the way you explained it. This crowd is divided. Divided, and it's almost like you know, who do you root for or against? Because you can't hold anything against Super Crazy or Hoobie or the SACs and what they've done. Yeah, this is one of the bonuses of this Luchador invasion. Whether you agree or disagree with Conan's points, you've got to appreciate what we've seen just like that move. Springing into the DDT, rolls him back, holding back at one, two, gets two. No! Now, what a wise move by Jerry Lynn, though. Pulling Super Crazy back towards the middle of the ring before he even attempted the pin. What's the veteran move? I'll tell you what, Conan at ringside is just, just firing instructions to Super Crazy. I don't know that he's able to follow Conan right now with, with everything that Jerry Lynn's giving him, Mike, but this has become personal between, it's, it's almost not even personal between Conan and Jerry Lynn anymore. It's personal between Conan and TNA. Crazy slides out to the floor, Lynn follows it. Now they're back in the ring. Oh, what a kick! Spinning heel kick by Super Crazy was on target and it sends Lynn to the floor on the opposite side of the asylum. He needed something there to change that momentum a little bit, Mike. Jerry Lynn just seemed really on his game. Crazy's trying to get a breath right here. And you know something Oh my goodness! Did you see that? Oh, I saw it! Springboard into the outside moonsault by Super Crazy. First crashing into Jerry Lynn and then crashing into the ramp. Absolutely getting over there and getting the props for his boy. I'll tell you what, he deserves them. You know, Mike, you have always said that Conan is right, that the Luchadors are an incredible athlete. Never denied that. And we want to see him here. And what has it done? It's brought the level of the X Division up because the X Division wrestlers know that they have to compete on that same kind of a level. Kind of like what Tiger Woods did the PGA Tour. If you want to stay and play with the best, you've got to get out there and work harder and bring your game up. And who are the winners? The fans here in the TNA Asylum right. and the fans at home joining us on pay-per-view. From the middle rope, Lynn is going to attempt to suplex Crazy back into the ring. He fights it off. Now what? I'll tell you what, Jerry Lynn has got more heart and more soul than any three wrestlers put together, Mike. And you notice, you can tell by the body language from Conan to Super Crazy, he's telling him, maintain your focus. Don't lose it because you just came up short on that pin attempt. Oh, it was devastating to Conan last week when Jerry Lynn pulled it out, when Hoobie dominated the match. Oh, TKO! Jerry Lynn, super crazy, and it is crazy. I'll tell you something. This match means a lot more than just, it means a lot more to a lot of people than just those two in the ring. Motioning to the crowd that he's going to go for the cradle pile there driver. There it is. Conan up on the ring apron. Lynn has been distracted. Roll through. Oh, basement drop kick right into the face of Lynn. I'll tell you what, you gotta mark that one up for Conan. Wait a minute! Oh man! Top rope springer! He got it! No, get it too! Again, you got two. Again, you only two. Two. be kidding me! Conan can't believe it! Super crazy can't believe it! Crazy back to the offensive. Picks Lynn up at the hair. 
Here it is. Gonna he elevate him up. How do you fight out of that? Floats over. Crazy ducks the clothesline. Boot to the midsection. Oh. Crazy with a tornado DDT. Mike, he should have finished him right there. Not going for the pin at that point. Well, he wants to beat Jerry in his own game. Wait a minute. Oh, sit out power bomb. Here it is. Got him. No, again, only two. You've got to be kidding. What incredible resiliency. What, what, what courage. What fight, what heart from Jerry Lynn. Conan's got to be thinking, what has Super got to do? What has he got to do? Look at Jerry Lynn. How does he do this? We've seen him do it with AJ Styles. We've seen him do it with Loki. We've seen him do it with, with the truth. We've seen him do it with so many great stars. Where did he get the results? Look at that, Mike. Hurricane run off the two. two. No way. Yes, he got it. The no way. Way. Performance wow. by both of these you individuals. Got that right.